the sloth's natural habitat, the jungle, comes right up to the sanctuary's boundaries. And a wild female bratipus and her tiny baby have crossed into the grounds, lured by one of their favorite foods, Cecropia leaves. A mother and her baby. Um, I can see his little head. Oh my gosh. But those tasty leaves are a whopping 100 feet up. A big drop for such a little sloth. Oh my God. I can't watch this. <laughs> this is so. His hand. Look, he's hanging down. Becky, can you see him? I can. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so agile, so adventurous. <gasps> oh, God. Well, the baby's certainly adventurous. Hopefully, the agility will come later. <sighs> Health and safety. <laughs> really? <laughs> the sloth's super strong grip and specially adapted claws mean they can eat, sleep, and even give birth upside down on a branch but it still takes practice. Narrowly missing a 100-foot drop to certain death doesn't seem to have bothered the baby, but it's all too much for Judy. I can't take any more stress. <laughs> so, okay, see you later. Becky's making the most of seeing wild sloths close up. It's great to see things like this. It's not something that we see very often. <laughs> I think he's a bit of an adrenaline junkie. The baby keeps practicing his daredevil acrobatics while continuing to hang on to his mom. 